The project I will uh, be presenting today is um, uh, one of the newest uh, project uh, in, uh, in the, uh, our organization, as uh, Lisa just uh, mentioned uh, moments ago. Um, this is uh, a work in progress. Uh, so um, I will uh, be giving you an update uh, on how uh, we are uh, approaching it and how uh, uh, it's the progress uh, uh, right now and also the next uh, phases. Uh, the project is um, to test the combination of synolytics and mesenchymal stem cells transplantation and, uh, and determine if uh, they have any uh, um, synergistic effect in enhancing uh, 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 health span in mice. So uh, for us, um, this is also the opportunity uh, to, um, to um, uh, build uh, the capabilities of uh, in vivo testing uh, in our research center, uh, this will uh, allow us to uh, to uh, test uh, other uh, aging intervention that we are developing here, and also to help other scientists in the uh, longevity field uh, uh, with uh, with their with the research and and uh, testing their their uh, new inter uh, interventions using our 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 animal models. So to start, I will give you uh, a brief background and also uh, the rationale for, uh, for our, uh, uh, our uh, combination. So as all, you all know, uh, the hallmark of, uh, of, of, of aging, at least one of the hallmarks is the accumulation of senescent cells in, in the body with age. And uh, um, senescent cells are of course uh, considered uh, harmful because they circulate uh, pro-inflammatory and pro-fibrotic factors that disrupts the homeostasis of, of normal tissues. And, um, and uh, there is increasing studies right now uh, that, that, that implicates in cells in, in progression and or the, uh, uh, the, the onset of aging associated diseases. So this makes uh, uh, senescent cells uh, an attractive target for, for the development of anti-aging uh, therapeutics. So in order to give you um, an overview on, on potential uh, approach to reduce the harmful effect of, of senescent cells, um, I, uh, I, I, I would like to look at it from, from, from the developmental uh, uh, point of view. Um, so um, most, most, most uh, tissues have senescent cell pool from which uh, progenitor cells uh, and also a tissue uh, functional cells are, are, are generated and uh, uh, with with either with time either due to the to the differentiation uh, uh, of these cells or the accumulation of damage uh, uh, th th these cells can can undergo different states all the way to senescence and also to 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 sell, to, to, to sell that and um, uh, one of the particularity of senescent cells is that they are resistant to stress and they secrete uh, a cusp that, uh, that, uh, that affect uh, neighboring cells in, in, in the same tissue or other cells in, in different tissues. And uh, because of that, uh, they, 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 they affect the, the function and they interfere with, with, with well-functioning of, of tissues. So one of the, the obvious approach uh, to, to, to uh, overcome this is by, by, uh, by uh, using synolytics. And these can be uh, either small molecules or biologics. Um, another, another approach is to use are a molecule that either inhibit uh, uh, the expression or the effect of SAS on, on neighboring cells. Uh, the third approach is by basically try to inhibit senescent cells uh, formation or generation by using uh, either a uh, molecule that inhibit damage uh, or, uh, or, um, or, or like caloric restrictions. Um, there are also, uh, as you know, now um, uh, exciting opportunity for uh, 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 reprogramming, partial reprogramming at least. And uh, so um, this, is, this is a new uh, and, and promising, of course, uh, approach, but uh, it needs uh, optimization uh, to minimize the risk of cancer. Uh, also, uh, there is, uh, um, uh, the reprogramming of senescent cells, it, it can be challenging actually, and uh, because themselves are, are a barrier to reprogramming, but it will be interesting to, to, to see how, how this will unfold in the future. 
Uh, this brings us also to uh, now to, to mesochemical stem cell transplantation. This has been uh, 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 done for decades now, and it has uh, it's shown that uh, it has a effect, a beneficial effect on many aging associated diseases. Uh, however, the mechanism of action is not is not uh, uh, well defined. Uh, initially, it was uh, uh, believed that uh, that the mesenchymal stem cell transplantation uh, uh, lead uh, basically the cells differentiate directly into and um, and, and replace or replenish uh, tissue functional cells. But uh, this uh, the, the, the the evidence for this was scarce, and this hypothesis is now less less pursued. So um, the common uh, the common thinking is that uh, mesenchymal stem cells actually work by, by by in a paracrine manner by secreting factors or uh, EVs uh, that can actually affect the, the neighboring cells. And, and and one example is, uh, for instance, the, the secrete factors that uh, that uh, induce uh, the proliferation and differentiation of progenitor cells into functional cells. Uh, other other effects uh, are, for instance, the the uh, in induction of angiogenesis or immunomodulation, and and I will also add to that uh, that they may have uh, possibly uh, a synomorphic effect that uh, that we are actually trying to to investigate right now to to to, to demonstrate whether it's it's it's, it's possible. So um, because mesenchymal stem cells have um, have. Uh, demonstrated a beneficial uh, effect in, uh, in uh, various uh, aging associated diseases. And because they have been shown to have um, uh, uh, favorable uh, toxicity profile, uh, uh, or safety profile, I mean, um, they constitute a, a good uh, starting point for us to, to do combination with semiotics. So before we, we start the intervention, there are uh, a number of factors to be considered. First, one of them is the animal model to be used. Secondly, the sequence of treatment, whether we use semiolytics first or, or, or stem cells first. And the third one is uh, uh, what, what type of semiolytic to be used. And of course, the source of quality of uh, an optimization status of, of mesenchymal stem cells. And uh, the, the most important one actually is the biomarkers. Is how are we going to, to know whether the interventions are working? So we want to uh, uh, onboard and validate all these biomarkers in vitro and, and in vivo before we start, we start the, 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 the interventions. So um, the, in terms of the animal model, uh, we will be using, we will be using uh, SC57 uh, black six mice that are naturally aged. But uh, for the for the other the other factors, for instance, the treatment of uh, uh, sequence of treatment, we will use synergetic first, then followed by, by mesenchymal stem cells. And, and the reason for that is we we uh, we don't want to have um, uh, senescent cells when when we inject stem cells because they may affect uh, their regenerative effects. And we also we don't want to have. Uh, uh, stem cells there when we inject senolytics because senolytics will 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 uh, may, may may have uh, some side effect on, on stem cells. So that's why we start with senolytic first, to emulsify stem cells, and then we we transplant uh, uh, mesenchymal stem cells. With regard to the type of senolytics, uh, uh, of course, they have been uh, the last few years uh, the, uh, the, the the discovery of many senolytics, but however, most of them are are not not very selective or, or only cell type specific. Um, uh, the one that stand out is, uh, is Navitoclax, uh, is, is the most established synergetic so far. And uh, uh, it has been shown to reduce uh, the burden of senescent cells in, in vivo and in vitro. Um, however, uh, the, the problem with this, uh, with this drug is that uh, it has uh, 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 toxic effects especially toward neutrophil because they express the targets of, uh, of, this, uh, of this drug. So um, because of that, uh, the translation of an to, to, to the clinic uh, can be uh, challenging. And um, so in order to go uh, around that, our collaborator, uh, he sensitized this molecule uh, called uh, Navito, Navitogal or Navitoclax linked to galacto galactose. So uh, this makes Navitoclax inactive and it can become active only when it go into senescent cells that express the senescence associated with the galactosidase. So um, 
Uh, in that case, it, when it's cleaved, good lysosome is cleaved, it binds to, uh, to, uh, to the receptor BCLXL. Uh, however, in, 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 in non senescent cells, because you don't have this enzyme, even though it gets into the cells, it will not kill them because it needs to be activated. And this is the case, for instance, in neutrophil. So uh, it will be safe for neutrophil this way. And actually, the group that dis discovered this molecule, they tested neutrophil and they found it that is less, less, uh, less. Uh, Toxic to the cells. Um, they, uh, this, this, this molecule has been tested in cancer and it was uh, uh, effective, and we will uh, test it uh, in, in aging uh, uh, in our model. So we, we tested in vitro and uh, compared it to an and uh, it does it does in fact uh, 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 kill senescent cells selectively. Uh, although a little bit less than Abitoplex itself, and that, uh, that, uh, that is expected because uh, uh, not only this molecule has to cross the membrane, but also has to go through, through uh, uh, cleavage by a cervical. Uh, however, Navitoplex itself, it doesn't have to uh, go through the cleavage because only the reticulated senescent cells. So uh, because of this, we, we think at least be, uh, the, the selectivity towards senescent cells uh, will will help in in, in in making less toxic moving uh, for our studies. Uh, with regard to uh, the commercially available bone marrow mesenchymal stem cells are used, and work is ongoing right now to cultivate these cells, characterize them, and uh, and, uh, and 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 make stocks of them. And also, we are also isolating these at the same time. Uh, so uh, uh, do work in, in, in optimizing these this stem cells, and uh, and mostly we try to um, uh, increase the, the, the survival uh, in, in the host because one of the, uh, the the problem that these cells have is that uh, they have short life uh, span in in mice, and uh, this is uh, has been done a simple experiment that this mesenchymal stem cell labeled, and when they are injecting the mice, they, they don't go more than then seven days, uh, they, 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 then they die. And one of the mechanisms by which they die is, is the, the, the cell death called anuikis, which is a cell death that occurs in cells that are, uh, that are uh, uh, encourage dependent. So we will be targeting this, this mechanism of cell death and, and other survival pathways to increase the survival of mesenchymal stem cells and hopefully will, will uh, increase their ability to, uh, to regenerate uh, the tissue. Um, and as I said earlier, uh, one of the, the most important uh, uh, aspect of the study is to establish biomarkers so we will be able to know which, uh, uh, how, how our intervention are working. So uh, we are testing a variety of markers and in and, and different ways, uh, whether with colorimetric or fluorescent assays or immunohistochemistry or LISA or PPCR. And, uh, and we're testing these markers either or in, in cement from, uh, from young and old eyes uh, to, to see. Uh, the goal is to really to find out how specific they are, how selective, how sensitive and how reliable. And if we can get even few markers that works very well, then we can move to, to really uh, test the interventions. Um, the, the, doing imaging, uh, we just uh, acquired um, uh, uh, acquired uh, um, um, an imaging system that allow us to, to, to detect senescent cells either by using by using uh, uh, fluorescent probes such as CY gal or galactose linked to uh, Nile blue. Uh, we will also uh, use this machine to, to track uh, mesenchymal stem cells that have been transplanted and also uh, to, to detect senescent cells using this uh, uh, mouse model of P16 Triamar uh, that, 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 uh, <clears throat> that also uh, uh, can be linked to uh, luciferase and detect uh, luciferase stem cells. So, um, so just to give you an example of, of, of the staining that we're, we're doing, this is a senescence associated beta galactosidase. Uh, and also uh, we are doing EDU uh, staining to verify that these methods are working in our hand. And uh, the senescence cells, of course, they don't stain. This is a marker for proliferation. And uh, also a gamma H2X, which is a marker for DNA damage. 
and uh, uh, it's innocent cells stem more than non innocent cells. And also we are doing P21, um, cell cycle inhibitor, and, and it shows same thing, it shows increase in innocent cells. Um, just to show you uh, a little bit how this uh, uh, gamma H2X works, uh, it actually detects DNA damage, so uh, it, should, it should show punctate into a, a nucleus of senescent cells, and that's, this is what we see here. So uh, just to uh, zoom from the previous slide. Um, we have also a stand with uh, the, the galactose uh, linked to CY, uh, CY7. Uh, this is a probe that, that should be cleaved only in senescent cells and, and CY7 can be detected. Uh, the staining is, is weak, it's specific, but it's weak. Uh, so uh, we, uh, we will be uh, trying this also in vivo, but it says the weakness of this, of this, uh, of this probe may be a problem uh, going forward when we move it in vivo. <clears throat> we have also tested the uh, galactose linked to a uh, Nile blue, and uh, this is uh, more strong, but uh, it's, it's less specific. So um, it, we, we will also try it uh, later on. We, uh, now this is in, in, in specimen from young and old mice, uh, 70 uh, weeks and, and, and 12 weeks. Uh, we, we, we stay with the senescence associated beta galactosides, and as you can see, it shows a specific staining in old mice uh, and in area, and this is a lung, in area uh, that is uh, around the alveoli. Um, the CY7 gal was not that, uh, that that uh, strong, um, so again uh, we may we, we, it may be a problem when we do the imaging with it. Um, we have also stained with ferritin. Uh, 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 this is a uh, staining in the in the in the kidney, and uh, it was increased in old in old mice as opposed to to young mice. And, and this is very encouraging. And uh, this, this type of staining was based on our finding previously that uh, the iron is increased in senescent cells and increases in tissues in general. Uh, so uh, this is a proof that actually it's working. We have also run a SASP, senescence associated uh, profile, uh, secretory profile in, in mouse uh, liver, uh, compared between young and old mice. And uh, we found, uh, this is uh, in this panel that we are tested here, uh, as an example, we found some, 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 uh, some factors as uh, interleukins were not uh, affected in a significant way. However, uh, uh, the P16 was uh, very, uh, uh, very significant, and also uh, it was consistently increased in, in old mice as compared to young mice. Uh, interestingly, we found that serpin is uh, the opposite, was decreased in, in, uh, in, in, in old mice as compared to young mice. And uh, so at least these two, uh, we, we will, we will uh, use them for, uh, for, uh, as in, in future step as a marker for, for, uh, for intervention effects. Uh, metal proteases, uh, um, the, the, the MMP3 was increased uh, significantly only in one mice out of three. Uh, MMP9 was increased in two uh, out of three. So maybe we, when we increase the, the group size, hopefully we we'll see more significance and probably we can use them also uh, for, uh, for interventions. <clears throat> um, uh, we uh, have uh, uh, acquired uh, this uh, uh, imaging machine uh, just a few weeks ago, and we are now uh, optimizing uh, the probes uh, to detect missing cells, for instance, probes, and uh, this is ongoing work right now. And also, we, uh, we, uh, we, 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 we are testing it for, for, uh, for a mouse model of P16 luciferase, and it shows, it shows uh, so it's working. Uh, but this one we can use it later if 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 the fluorescent doesn't work because we would like to use a, a, a non-transgenic uh, mouse model first. So yeah, so uh, and the next steps will be as uh, to test uh, synolytics and, uh, and 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 stem cells, of course. But this is for synolytic uh, alone. Uh, the, the procedure will be a standard one that has been described before for. Uh, for uh, for Navitoclax and uh, basically uh, two weeks treatment, uh, five days on and two days off, 
and uh, the mice will be imaged uh, throughout the, the, the study. And at the end, uh, they will be sacrificed and, and, and the specimens will be harvested. We will be testing all these markers that we are just talking uh, to you about. And uh, the, so the, the, the primary outcome is, um, is, uh, is to, to obtain a significant reduction in senescent cell markers and SASP. Uh, however, uh, uh, this, if, if that doesn't work, this is uh, we, we have to start again and, and try another senolytic before we go to the combination, because uh, this is for us this is a, a limiting step. So we need to to, to find the senolytic that work, and then and then we call and can go to to the next step with combination. Otherwise, we will have to use a, a transgenic mouse model. Uh, with three, three, uh, uh, three uh, MR mice, because uh, those have been already validated and, uh, and the senescence burden can be, can be uh, reduced uh, in these mice. Uh, with regard to uh, stem cell transplantation alone, uh, the procedure again is, has been described. So we will just uh, follow the same thing. We will inject the, 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 the mice with a single injection. And then, and then uh, a month later, we will analyze uh, the markers of, uh, mostly we will be interested in measuring markers of pro-inflammatory and pro-fibrotic markers, but uh, we may also do uh, a senescent cell burden uh, markers, uh, although we're not expecting that that uh, mesenchymal stem cells will kill, will kill uh, senescent cells. Um, so, um, uh, the, the, in case in case this uh, this procedure this mesenchymal stem cells do not work, we will we may use uh, uh, AVs or or optimized mesenchymal stem cells uh, that that we are uh, currently generating. Uh, with regard to the combination of synthetic and, and, and stem cells, we will do with the same thing. We will do either aging alone or the combination of both. And in uh, and, uh, and this time, we will, of course, we will do the imaging, of course, but we also will do physical and behavioral studies and also we'll collect uh, our survival data. And, uh, and, uh, and at the end of the experiment, we will do uh, analysis of biomarkers of senescence. And uh, so the outcome will be uh, to, uh, to, to, to see if single agent or treatment combination will, uh, will reduce the burden of senescent cells and SASP, uh, will have any effect on physical and behavioral activities and, uh, and whether they enhance uh, the health span or lifespan. So uh, I hope uh, uh, I will have this data uh, ready for, uh, for uh, next, uh, next meeting and uh, I will be able to share it with you. So in conclusion, um, uh, we hope this, uh, this finding uh, will, will lead to uncover a new approach for treating aging, uh, or at least uh, enhance our understanding on how this intervention uh, work together and uh, how can we improve them and optimize them to increase uh, health span. And again, uh, this is a project that, uh, that will allow us to establish the capabilities and standardize the process of uh, in vivo preclinical testing at our research center here at, in, at, at uh, the Science Research Foundation. Uh, and uh, by, stand, by standardizing this process, we hope to explore additional uh, combinations that we are uh, having here, developing here uh, in, on site, or help other scientists uh, with their, uh, uh, their discoveries uh, and by using our in vivo models and platform. So uh, with this, I would like to thank uh, the, the SRF donors and uh, and, uh, and project uh, sponsors, uh, the, the board and the executive team, and also the research colleagues and, and all the, the SRF staff. And uh, I would like to uh, thank uh, the, 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 my team members for their hard work and, and dedication, and also our collaborators for giving us the, 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 the product that we're using uh, to test uh, in, in this study. And thank you all for, for, for attending. Thank you. <laughs>